Hello, <laughs> this is Artifacts of Mars. I'm going to laugh all the way through this one. This one is funny like you would not believe. Octopuses may indeed be your new overlords. Can you believe this? These scientists are claiming <laughs> that your average octopus, squid, and they're talking about cephalopods. The numbers are increasing in the ocean. Well, isn't that what we want? Cephalopods are squids, octopuses, and cuttlefish. And they're claiming that because humans are making the oceans warm up, the cephalopods are going to take over the world. So now, we're going to have to have an octopus in the White House, I guess. An octopus is going to tell us what to do. <laughs> these people are idiots. Why do these scientists come up with this crap? Why do they still have their credentials? Their credentials should be pulled. I mean, what the hell? Over the past 60 years, the population of cephalopods, octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish has been steadily growing. This is particularly remarkable because many types of marine life have been dying out as carbon levels in the oceans rise, which is BS, making the water more acidic. So even as numbers of crabs, sea stars, and coral reefs are shrinking, the tentacle creatures of the deep are thriving. Writing in current biology, a large number of marine biologists describe how they discovered the trend. Looking at past 61 years of fisher, fisheries data from all major oceans, they examined numbers of cephalopods that are by catch or accidentally caught along with target fish. Using these numbers as a proxy for cephalopod populations as a whole, they discovered a study increase in over the decades across all cephalopod species. The question is why? Researchers say it's likely a function of cephalopod's ability to adapt quickly. These ecologically and commercially important invertebrates may be benefited from changing ocean environment, they write. Most cephalopods have very short lifespans and are able to change their behavior very quickly during these lifespans. Indeed, octopuses are tool users who can learn quickly, leading to many daring escapes from tanks and labs, as well as brilliant forms of camouflage on the bottom of the ocean. All these characteristics add up to a set of species who can change on fly as their environments are transformed. If trend con trends continue, cephalopods may be among the species who are poised to survive a mass extinction in the ocean, leading to a future total uh, marine ecosystem ruled by tentacles. So, there you have it. These scientists are saying the octopuses are taking over the Earth. These people are nutcases. <laughs> what more do you You can't do anything but laugh at these people. They're insane. And this is proof. They are insane. And this is what you have running your uh, scientific, instru uh, scientific world here in this country is insane people. Well, cephalopods are growing. There's a uh, good food source now, isn't there? She was. Annalee Newitz is the tech, tech culture editor of Ars Technica. She is also author of Scatter, Adapt, and Remember How Humans Will Survive a Mass Extinction. Her first now 
novel will be published in 2017. Well, I have a lot more pressing things to worry about than the increase in the cephalopod population. I'm not... Come, come now, folks. What are they saying, in essence? They're saying that, you know, these things are going to move out onto land and take us over. <laughs> By their own mission, that's... Octopuses may be your new overlords. They're saying they're going to move out on the land and take the planet over. If that's not delusional, I don't know what is. Unbelievable. These, uh, these aren't scientists. I don't know what they are. They're just whack jobs, I guess. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Global warming is neither.